So after the big success of The Little Mermaid and Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin and Lion King and so forth, wasn't there like an another animated film that came out? Oh, I know this one came out the exact same year as a Goofy movie and Toy Story, but but what was it? Oh, I know it was another Alan Menken musical, and it was from the same director of The Rescuers Down Under. What was it? <laughs> what the hell happened? What the hell is this? Oh. Yeah, Pocahontas is actually the one that started with the downfall all of the Disney animated films that people were start. Well, this is the one that people started to lose interest of Disney animated features for a little while. And people declared this one as the weakest of the Disney Renaissance films. Well, I agree, but is it a bad film? Well, well let's look at the story. Wait, the film opens up with Mel Gibson as John Smith was in 1607 in London. On he and his crew, oh, like Thomas, played by, by Christian Bale, well, and Billy Connolly as, uh, as one of his, uh, as one of the other crews, and Joe Baker as well. Oh, they're basically on a boat to travel to Virginia because, well, as Governor Ratcliffe, played by or David Hockenstiers, is trying to collect gold. And, of course, he's your typical greedy villain. But, uh, while that's going on, we see our main character of the film, called, known as Polka Irons, played by Irene I Bettered, or he, she uh, finds out she finds out that her father has returned from the war, or and uh, Kokoham has asked him on to marry Pocahontas. Pocahontas gets a little confused, but uh, then um, uh, or uh, she and wants but uh, the chief wants him to uh, um, well, choose the smoothest course, or like choose her own path. But basically. I'm Mulan, I mean, sorry, not Mulan. Pocahontas doesn't want to marry Coco. I'm, I'm, well, she doesn't tell him, but, uh, but I, uh, he, but she knows that her father wants to be steady. Oh, yeah, but uh, she does go to her grandmother, or played by Linda Hunt, or which is a, uh, a magical talking tree. It's a bit of a silly choice, but I think it works fine. I'm, um, but, but um, but she also has a cup. She has her own animal friends like. Or like a raccoon named Miko and a f hummingbird named Flit, played by Frank Welker. Or in, or in, yeah, they're about as adorable as it sounds, to be honest. But um, uh, but a little bit later, John Smith and Pocahontas meet each other. Or in, uh, John Smith is usually the one that kills like, uh, like terrible people and stuff. But then he sees and only sees good in uh, Pocahontas. Seen. Uh, but since they were like starting to get to know each other, he basically tries to convince the villain. Well, convinces um, oh we you know Ratcliffe, off to uh to not destroy any more of their land on and, and try to tell him that they're not bad people, but he just refuses to listen and he just wants the gold, on and stuff and just, well, well yeah he's just a greedy guy. Oh, right, but they they both have to like convince each other that uh, that they're not all bad people. It's basically the same thing as Fern Gully: The Last Rainforest, and that is the biggest problem I have with this movie. Why, like, this story has been done a million times, even in, um, my, my, uh, there was another film I did see called Dancing with Wolves. I saw that in 8th grade, right before I graduated. I saw it in, uh, in U.S. history. Oh, yeah, and when it did have that same story, but it was at least good enough to be like that. This film is still good. I mean, even though this is a good film, oh, well, I mean, definitely, Pocahontas is a good movie in general. Oh, it's just that it so oh, feels like you're watching the exact same story all over again. Or the same thing for Ferngully like the Last Rainforest. But oh, it wouldn't really matter as long as the characters were at least enjoyable enough and on and uh, the animation as well. Oh, but yeah, it, it's about that. The main character, Pocahontas, is pretty, it's about as enjoyable as it sounds. Whereas I guess she's a little bit of the weaker. Or Disney princesses, but I still find them to be pretty enjoyable. John Smith is pretty cool. I like the other characters. Billy Connolly is pretty hilarious. Uh, the villain one is is good, but uh, definitely one of the weaker Disney villains. But he is pretty cool though. Um, but uh, what else? Uh, the the line work in the animation itself is real is really wonderful. Like it's very spot on. When, especially when it's coming from uh. From legendary animator Glenn Keane, or and, and or uh, he's basically like the same animator of all the other Disney animated films. 
ones as well, like Aladdin, The Little Mermaid, Rescue Us Down Under, you know. But, uh, but, uh, the songs are great, too. Oh, like, Calls of the Wind, that's the best song in the movie. Savages is one of the best villain songs. Oh, I mean, of course, it's Alan Macon. Anything he does touch, I think it's absolutely gold or a, a, an actual marvel. But, um, uh, but so, yeah, aside from the weak writing and the story as well, oh, you could say, I mean, I could definitely say it's not a great flick, but it's a really, really good one. And so that's my overall opinion for Pocahontas, and what do you think about it? Or uh, if you like the, if you like the, uh, this review, well, click like on the video, and what do you think about it? Just comment below, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to me on, here on YouTube, and follow me on Facebook, and I'm the Bostonian Critic, and I will see you later, and I'm signing out. Take care.